Hello YouTube, Dr. Carlo Oyer, board certified emergency physician with ED Exit Video Pro, where if you give me just five minutes, you will learn something that will help your practice or your learning in medical health. So in the emergency department, we see tons of uh, animal related bite wounds. Uh, most of them have to do with dog bites. Actually, about 914 bite wounds present to the emergency department every day in the United States. The question is, which of these need antibiotics? And do antibiotics help prevention of infections in people with bite wounds? Well, let's talk a little bit about the bite wounds. Most are caused by dogs. Uh, most uh, of the ones that do get infected are in the upper extremities, the hands. So there is recommendations that if the bite's on the face, the hand, feet, those wounds are a high risk of infection and you should think prophylaxing, that means giving antibiotics even before the infection is present. But if we do that on every single one, we're gonna to have to give lots of antibiotics to prevent one infection. That is called the number needed to treat. That means the number of people who will have to have a medication intervention or treatment before one of them gets any benefit. Well, right now, the NNT, the number needed to treat is about 14. That means 14 people need to get antibiotics for just one of them to get some clinical improvement. That means the other 13 didn't really benefit from getting an antibiotic. So why is this important? Well, antibiotics are not necessarily good. Of course, it's good when they are needed, but when they are not needed, it can cause a lot of troubles. They wipe out your normal flora of bacteria in your gut and therefore can cause Clostridium difficile infection, which is horrible diarrhea caused by an infectious agent, can cause uh, colitis, severe colitis, bloody diarrhea. Anyway, you can get really sick. Not only that, but it wipes out your normal bacteria in other areas of the body where they are normal and they should be there. So uh, their costs of the antibiotic, there are resistance development over time if you use antibiotics for simple infections that don't need antibiotics. And um, then there's the side effects. Some people get nausea, some people get abdominal pain, some people get diarrhea, some people get rashes, uh, drug eruptions, and so on. So if we can avoid antibiotics in people with simple infections or people who do not have an infection yet, then this is a good thing. So going back to these articles about which Bite wounds need antibiotics. Well, the bottom line is, if this is an early presentation of a simple low risk wound, even if it's a dog bite to the forearm, arm, even to the face, they do not need antibiotics because the number needed to treat is so high, 14 or so. Um, the likelihood that you're gonna prevent an infection is very low. They recommend that instead of giving the antibiotics, you do education. Education about what are the signs of infection if they were to develop. Redness, swelling, increasing pain, discharge, fever. And if those develops, the patient ought to return to the emergency department to then get treatment for that infection. Having said all that, if the patient is high risk, that is they're diabetic, they have immune compromise in any way, or they're malnourished like chronic alcoholics, those patients are high risk for infection and those you should always prophylax for infection. Conclusion, simple bite wounds, early presentation to the emergency department, no antibiotics. Clean them really well, give them good education instructions of when to return if infection develops, but if they're moderate or high risk due to diabetes, immunocompromised, alcoholics with mal malnourishment or any other compromise to infection, history of bad infections or bad healing or peripheral vascular disease or something like that, chronic edema of the extremity, then you should definitely prophylax those patients. Hey, I hope you learned in this video. I certainly did a lot. Make sure you comment, like, and we'll see you on the next ED Exit Video Pro video. Bye-bye.